In this tutorial, we will understand the explore function in PHP. This function used to break the string into an array. Explore is a built-in function in PHP used to split a string in different string and put the string in the array. The syntax of this function is super easy. You have a explore function and have few parameters to it. So the first parameter is a separator. The separator parameter allows you to split the string from the specified character. Then we have the original string parameter. As the name implies, here we specify the string which we want to split. And then we have no of elements. This parameter is optional, which allows us how many array indexes we want to split into string. Now let's take an example and understand how this explode function works. So to understand this function, I'm going to just first create here a variable and then specify the explode function to it. So when we execute this function, it's going to return an array to this result variable. Now in this explode function, I'm going to first pass the separator. So I'm going to just pass here white space and then to the second parameter, I'm going to pass daily tuition tutorials. So this is the string I want to just convert into an array. Now just out of that, I'm going to just say here print result and I'm going to just execute this statement. If you execute it, you're going to get this type of result. So as you can notice, this will just split this string into three parts because we have two white spaces in this string. This is the first one and this is the second one. So this function will return an array to this variable and this variable would something look like this. So here on the first index we have daily, on the second index we have tuition and in the third index we have tutorials. This function is mostly used for the first name and last name but you can use it for any purpose. For example, let's say you want to get the domain name from the URL. You can do that as well. I'm going to first create a result variable and specify explode function to it. And in this function I'm going to first specify the separator. So I'm going to separate the string using dot and then I'm going to specify my domain name. So this is going to be my domain name and I'm going to split this domain name using this dot. And if I just try to print the result, I'm going to have my www on the first index. Then we have the daily web tuition on the second index and I'm going to have com on the third index. And if you just want to print the first index of this array, you can just call a square bracket and specify first index to it. Now this will give you a domain name of your site. This function is very helpful when you work with the date and time. For example, if I create here a result variable and just specify that explode function and in the parameter, I'm going to first specify the separator and then I'm going to specify the string. Using date function, I'm going to get the current date and then I'm going to just print the result. When I print it, it's going to return something like this. This is your day, this is your month and this is your year. Now let's take a look at the third parameter of this explode function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify here comma and then specify here two. And now if I try to execute this print statement, then I'm going to get the result something like this. I'm going to have index zero and one because we limited the number of index using this third parameter. I'm just going to have two index values in this array. If I convert this number to three, I'm going to have three index to my array. Now let's say you have someone email and you want to split the email from the at the red sign. Now to split the email from the at the red sign, I'm going to create the result variable and specify explode function to it. Then specify the separator at the rate and then specify value. So here I want to split this email from this at the red sign. And then I'm going to specify my third parameter, which is two, which is the index limit. I'm going to just print this result. And if I execute this statement, this will something look like this. I'm going to have zero index where we have email address before the add the red sign and here we have the text after the add the red sign. This function is very useful when you're working with forms and user data. So this is how the explode function works. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.